Welcome to another TMG's training videos and today we're going to be covering off in a method of making it easier for your novice technicians to use their OTDRs. This method will eliminate any errors in setting up their OTDRs if you're on index refraction or pulse width or distance. Um, all they have to do is make a simple selection. So let's jump into this. So today we're going to be looking at the smart test function on your OTDR. So we're going to come out of expert OTDR and select the single mode smart test function. So for this to work, you need to have some pre-configured setups in your filing. So let's go into our files and if we just go up here under configs, you'll notice I've got smart test and here I've got all my configs already preloaded. Now we're going to start loading these up at TMG. Um, if you haven't these already, you can contact us our support line um, and we'll send them to you and all you need to do is once you get your email um, you'll just need to extract the files put them onto USB which they'll be here like this and then I just need to go into those I need to edit uh, select all and then copy and then just go back into these and just paste them in there and you'll have them all ready to go okay so uh, I'm going to press start as if I'm about to do a test and now you can see um, it's already just got these setups. I've got LFN and DFN different distances so it's really easy for the user just to select if he's working on DFN or LFN he knows what distance he's working on to select it. So I'm going to select 2K and you can see already that my laser is already pre-configured to 1310, 1625 my distance at kilometers the launch lead I can add a launch lead if I wanted to and I could set alarms if I wanted to or just leave it as is um, and now I can do jump straight in and do a test but I can also if you have a look at the bottom do a real carry out real time test so this is a real quick and easy if you if you've got uh, if you just if you're looking at a quick splice you've done at the BJO it's a quick way of going in and just having a look at a real life trace um, and then somebody could go to that BJO and maybe do a re-splice um, or do a jiggle on the connector to see if they can actually see if they can fix it. Now, be warned, that using this you'll see past the first splitter. Um, you won't really see too much past the second splitter in a real-time test. But that generally won't be a problem. Anyway, let's go in and do a, a start the test as normal and let it do its 1310-1625 trace. So you can see we've started the screen in Smart Link Mapper, so I can see my two splitters. So let's just go straight into this display. I'll just zoom out. So straight away, I can see all my events there, um, and I can use my cursors now if I wanted to, if I want to check my events and in my, uh, my splices or splitters. Um, and I've got my zoom. So I'm going to go straight in and save the trace now. For this, uh, for the naming convention, the SAM ID you're going to use as the job ID. So I just call this SAM123. Um, and then location A is DPU and location B is the FJL because we're in the local fiber network. Uh, fiber number, we just change that to whatever. So for this instance, I just leave it as one. And then fiber ID, it doesn't matter what that is, that doesn't matter. So if I now select file only, And now I can go into the file. And here we have my two traces at 1310 and 1625. Now remember, I would have had to have SAM ID highlighted um, originally for the uh, the events, the two SOR files to be in the right place. So let's go and do another test now. I just want to quickly show you, if I just quickly run a second test. Now the test is done, I'm just going to go and, and save this now. Um, so press save. And you can see the details from the previous test are the same. So all I need to do because I'm working on the LFN is change the the starting original location description and save that. And if I go into file, I can see both DPU1 and DPU2 uh, saved. So 
very nice and simple. So again, if you want one of these fantastic OTDRs, why not call our sales line on 1-800-680-680. Or if you've already got a VRV OTDR and you wish to have the config file sent to you, then contact our customer support and we'll be able to email them over to you. Till next video, goodbye.